So people mention to me that if you're on Boyce Road, mm -hmm. your logical way of getting to 79 now would be to head towards where the Southern Beltway is going to connect. Right. Yeah. It should, in preliminary discussions, it actually should help us. Mm -hmm. That's, and, and helping South Bay a great deal. Let me ask, Lori, when you were at this meeting, did they think that traffic at the end of Boyce would turn left instead of right yes. to get on the 79? Yes. Yeah. So very similar to the long, belabored Boyce, Boyce Road, Road intersection. intersection. Yes, that was one of the things when we were having the discussions on where all these cars were going to go, one of the discussion was it may be, maybe a positive for us as far as those vehicles instead of coming down, you know, entering I-79 or going to make a left or maybe the same road traffic that's coming mm -hmm. through there will go and they'll make a, a, a left there. So, um, you know, further discussions, but it actually may be a positive for us. The, the, the one thing, Pat, you know, the preliminary design shows 79 going over the mm -hmm. expressway mm -hmm. and that there'll be a significant cut of earthwork down there, so that would be kind of where that clover leaf is. And then the other thing is, there's the one, that's supposed to tie right into uh, Morgan Road in Cecil Township to take people to the National Cemetery. Mm -hmm. a, full, a full clover a full leaf clover, tying yes. yes, that's what the preliminary design shows. Right, and so you get on the southern, southern Beltway and it would fly over 79 and you put over 79 and under it. Under it? Yes. Under it. Okay. I'm, I'm curious to see the amazing engineering that it's all going to take. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Any other new business?